look gorgeous. Welcome back to Thanks. the show. That is beautiful. I heard that was going to be lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is just awesome. Uh, uh, thank you for coming back to the show. Thanks for having uh, me. I had a great time with you last time we were here Same. when we were talking. It was fun. But I, now you're, there's a bit of a, a, a controversy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my, I, my mom texted me and said that in England, people think I've got a fake leg. Yes. Um, yeah, because... Because I did, a, I, I did a video of myself in the gym stretching, and I, I'm quite flexible. So now there's a, a, a thought that possibly I've got a, a, a rubber leg or a, pre, a pretend leg, which if I have, I've kept it awfully quiet for decades. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, this is... For, and, and I don't know if you would bring the, the leg around for Instagram posts. I've got to, it on now, obviously, to get, just To get case. likes. But <laughs> yeah. I, I want to show everyone this video, because it is kind of... Here's Kate stretching. And, and Kate's stretching. Take a look at this. This is... Yeah, like a normal leg would have stopped like a little bit <laughs> little back, but the, what, then then he does this trick. No, my gosh! Okay, the, the, I don't know. I, that's like something you do to like a Barbie doll or something. I don't yeah, know what. Know. But uh, you just aren't you're just in good shape. I just quite. I've always been like that. I did a lot yeah. of ballet when I was a kid, and now and now I can cause worry about a fake leg. That's, uh, that's I, really all I got. I, I, I wanted to tell you this last time you were on the show. I didn't get around to telling you this, but oh. you were you were an inspiration for me. Good Lord. I was I was auditioning for Saturday Night Live okay. in '98, and I'm a big fan of yours. Really? And you had short hair at oh, the no. time. It was really cute. But it wasn't my choice. Oh no! Yes. Oh no! No, it's yeah. so cute. That it's is your so hair. Oh, awful. No, I loved it. It's so Warmly. cute. And then I I I got my hair cut <laughs> like that, so I auditioned for Saturday Night Live. For real? Yeah, for real. You did a photo shoot in a magazine. It was a black and white photo shoot, and I think. And you thought that's so me. I just thought it was cool. I liked, I liked your look, and so oh I, I God, stole I it. And that, so that. you made my career. I could break you. Just <laughs> yeah. I'll you could break you my down. career as yeah, well. What's so funny about that is that I was forced to have the haircut for a movie, and I can take this apology, but time to apologize now to my college boyfriend, who I was so upset about that haircut that when it was over, I punched him. Isn't that awful? Just from a reflex in the shoulder, not the face. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But in the you... balls. <laughs> <laughs> just, not, just in the shoulder. Um, but yeah, so ah. Oh. Yeah, so that well, was. I'm glad like... somebody got something out of it, and it was you. And now we're here because of that. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much You're for my so for my career. Um, but then you said you think you look like a, a, another celebrity. No, I definitely look. I look. I'm, I look exactly like Ryan Reynolds. <clears throat> like in a shocking way. Like when sometimes I see a bus going by with a poster on, I think, damn, I look hot. Oh, wait, it's not me. It's... <laughs> also, I never did that movie. Like, I've been you at home. You think you look like Ryan exactly Reynolds? Like Ryan Reynolds. Here's a picture of you and Ryan. I don't know if I. You see it? <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> I don't really see it, but I, You don't I, see it? I don't really see it, but I mean, it's I've amazing. I've wrestled with how... Um, obviously, he's not even like a sort of slightly girly boy bander type, but he's like a big Canadian man. Yeah. Like the, and I really see myself in him. Have you ever worked with him? No. I can't be in the same room as him, so one of us would, I think, explode. Or something would happen. <laughs> but I have had, like, boyfriends be in the same room as him when I wasn't there and feel really compromised and feel, like, way too intimate. <laughs> <laughs> they were attracted to Ryan? No, but they just feel like they've got, like, a special... Like, they, they, they sort of know things about his undercarriage that they shouldn't. But they don't. <laughs> oh, my they don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. i got to tell him that. That's just hilarious. No, I'd die um, of embarrassment if I saw him. I want to talk to you about your movie, uh, Farming, yeah. which is a beautiful, amazing movie. I can't almost believe that it's true, all this right. stuff that goes... And you're fantastic in it. Oh, but uh, explain what farming is about and what it is. Well, I'd never heard of it, and I think a lot of people hadn't. So farming in the 60s, 70s, 80s in England was this phenomenon where um, Nigerian families would sort of give their children to white working-class families living sort of slightly outside of London, sort of hoping they'd have a, a better life or whatever. And... Very often, these families had never seen a, a black person before, and really, were, the communities were not hugely tolerant, and so it was really difficult for those sure. kids. And um, and the writer director Adewale, this is his actual real story in his real life. And There's some scenes in there. I go, this is this is. You crazy. can't believe it. I feel surreal. so bad for him. And yeah, and he's the most unbelievably educated, evolved, amazing person. So seeing somebody who had a start like that, because he ended up joining a. As a black young kid, he ended up joining a white racist skinhead gang, a skinhead becoming gang. like the leader of the gang and beating up other people. And um, and it, you just think, where can this possibly go? That's good, you know. And, and I think for most of them, it really didn't. But he's transcended that in the, in such an amazing way. So I play his his foster mother uh, um, called Ingrid. Uh, you're you're fantastic in it. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Kate Beckinsale in Farming. Take a look at this.
Did you know he was suspended? Well, his suspension ended a month ago, but he hasn't returned to class. He's also being harassed by local hooligans and skinheads. But he'd handle himself. I saw them violate him. Mrs. Carpenter. They took everything that boy had. Now, Eni is a promising student. He's done well in his tests. He can handle himself. I know what it feels like to hate what you are. I know that feeling, Mrs. Carpenter. And if we don't do something to help him, it will be a tragic waste oh, and we will regret you. it. I can take care of my own kids. So piss off and find some other charity cake. Oh, come on. I don't know how do you do it? That's so naive. It's amazing. I know. It's really fun. Hey, Beck and tell everybody. Uh, uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.